what is your focus this year? I mean, there's a lot of talk about what could happen for you at the end of the year in terms of the next level. So how do you keep that where it is and, and try to go out there and, and uh, focus on these first 10 games? Uh, just focusing on one game at a time, trying to think about the end of the season because um, like T. Rob said, we got to play good for any of that stuff to happen. So I'm just focused on game one. Colin Taylor. JC, what have you seen from t <clears throat> from Tennessee in the film and game planning you guys have been able to do? And kind of what's the plan for attacking those receivers that I know kind of gave you guys some trouble last year? Uh, it's kind of they they kind of going to come out and probably do the same thing they did last year because they were successful last year doing that. But um, just playing with good eyes, good discipline uh, throughout the whole game. They got a lot of wacky plays, so we just got to stay focused and locked in the whole game. What do you mean by wacky plays? Just motions or yeah. kind a lot of taking. A lot of motions, a lot of shifts, um, over routes, stuff like that. Just stuff to mess up the communication in the secondary. And it's easy to leave a guy running free with the, with the offense they run. So just staying focused the whole game and playing with good discipline. Gino. JC, what kind of improvement have you seen from South Carolina's wide receiver group throughout fall camp? Uh, it's, it's real different. It's been real different this, this camp. They've been giving us uh, a lot of competition. Um, I feel like this offense is very explosive and uh, one play can go can go to distance. So these receivers have been working it and they're getting better and better and it's just great competition. It's been great competition all throughout camp and practice. Pete Eckerbelli. JC, how uh, anxious are you guys to get back on the field and what's it been like waiting this long to uh, play a football game? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to get back on the field. The whole team is, is excited. Uh, like you said, we didn't know if we was going to get an opportunity to play this season. But uh, game one finally coming up. So we're really excited, man. We're going to go out there and play real fast under the lights. Mike Cuba. Hit on this, but what have you noticed in training camp with with these guys from an offensive standpoint since Bobo arrived? I mean, how, I mean, obviously, like you said, it's been competitive during training camp, but have you noticed just anything different with just the offense and how it's looked? Uh, yeah, it's, that's the difference right there. It's, like usually last year the defense was dominating practice and now you know Colin he make a play he talking to me and Izzy, uh, Bobo talking to us after practice talking junk to us so every day is, is going out there is like a game atmosphere man you know you got to bring your best stuff um, and like I said the offense is really explosive and I can't wait to see it on Saturday. Ben. Uh, you see. How much did last year's Tennessee game kind of stick with you guys? And has that been something the staff has kind of brought up to kind of push you guys or, or not really? Uh, it stuck with us, obviously, uh, as a secondary. We gave up a good bit of um, yards and plays. But, I mean, we're not, we're not really thinking about last year. It's a whole new year, a whole new team, new defense. So we just locked in. We're trying to lock in game one and go out there and put our best uh, football on the field. Colin? Colin Hill, like you mentioned him kind of talking to you and talking some smack during practice. What's Colin Hill like as a as a person? What have you seen from him so far? Uh, real calm, cool, collective, uh, got a quarterback demeanor. Um, just laid back, man. And I love to see him work on the field. He make great throws. I just can't wait to see it on Saturday. John Whittle. Yeah, uh, the last few weeks, what do what have you seen out of the growth of the young corners, Cam and, and John Dixon? How, how have you seen them progress? Uh, they just becoming more disciplined. Um, last year, they, they just struggled a little bit with learning how to practice and the, the tempo we play at. But this year, it's been a, uh, they're two uh, different players. Um, they out there practicing fast, uh, and they're they going to get run on Saturday. So them guys going to be ready, and they're going to play good. Ben? This is kind of building on that a little bit, but how much depth do you think this secondary can have this year? And sort of how much more solid do you think some guys beyond that first four have kind of grown through this offseason? Uh, yeah, we got. I feel like we got a good depth, a good amount of depth, just like I said with Cam and John coming along. And then it's also good for guys like um, O'Donnell, uh, well, Miss Joey, guys like that. They get a chance to just work and get better every day. Uh, they they got four good guys ahead of them right now, so I feel like as a as a whole group we're just competing and getting better every day. Eric Boynton. Yeah, how would you describe the progression you've seen out of uh, on Joiner as he's made the uh, full time transition over to wide receiver, JC? 
He's, he's getting better day in and day out. Um, it's a big, it's a big um, progression from spring to now. Uh, Coach Bobo, I think he does a good job with the receivers. And Coach Cox, we're just getting them better and working on, they come out and run the same route but different ways. So uh, the carry on, he, he's definitely improving that receiver and he's working everywhere at the outside and slot. So I feel like he's going to be a good weapon for us. How would you describe his overall athleticism? Uh, he reminds me of Debo. Uh, when he touched the ball, he's very dangerous, as you all know. Um, and he's, he's actually finding different ways to get open now. So I'm just ready to see it on game day. That we'll be able to all tell on game day. Mitch Brown. Casey, obviously when Saturday rolls around, everything will start to feel normal again. But given everything that's transpired over the past couple of months, does this game week feel different from seasons past, or does it kind of just feel like business as usual for you guys? Uh, speaking for me, it's, it just feel like uh, another game. I mean, I, I'm really – usually I start getting a little anxious around this time, like a little, little nervous, but, I mean, I'm, I feel locked in, just ready to play, and I'm sure the guys feel like that too. We tired of hitting on each other. <laughs> the last question goes to John Whittle. Uh, on the depth chart, you and, and uh, Jamie Robinson are listed as, as both potential starters at punt return. Uh, do y'all y'all have a little friendly competition going going against each other? What what would you say to make your case for that starting job? Uh, no, nah, it ain't. It's not even like that at all, man. Me and Jamie, we we like brothers off the field, and how we look at it, as long as the punt returner coming out the D, DB room, we don't really care. We know we the best playmaker playmaker, so we happy with whoever go out there. All right, thank you, JC. Appreciate appreciate it. y'all.